What? Oh my god! There's no way, it's not supposed to go at an angle. For the love of Hillary, jump on us. So let's play Wind Waker. Let's play Kingdom Hearts. I lost my one boy! Come on, hero. Let's play. Nearly everybody who watches gaming videos on YouTube nowadays is familiar with the term, or at the very least has seen it throw around. A simple search on YouTube yields nearly 13 million results for our Let's Plays on YouTube, created by thousands of video producers from many different countries all across the world, with almost just as many subscribers who watch them. The majority of these individuals, however, are vastly unaware of the origins of the videos they create, as are their viewers. Let's Plays originated in the gaming forums of the website Something Awful. Users would create a thread in which they would document their progress throughout a game, and would illustrate that through the use of screenshots and captions. In January of 2007, the forum user known as Slowbeef created a Let's Play thread of the Immortal for, for the Sega Genesis. However, instead of using screenshots and captions and walls of text to illustrate his experience, he recorded his voice on top of footage of the game, thus creating what is credited as the very first video let's play. I'm going to give something experimental a shot for the Immortal here, and uh, I'm going to resist my urge to play Snatcher again. But, um, okay, so basically... Here we go. This is player's commentary, which is sort of, if you've ever seen a DVD, um, music a little loud for me here. If you've ever seen a DVD, you know how they do, like, director's commentary and stuff? Well, imagine if some jackass who was not involved in the creation of the movie at all decided to just comment on what he thought watching the movie would be like. Well, that's kind of what we are here now. Um, Will Harvey made the game. You can hear me opening a beer there. Video Let's Play was a huge hit on the Something Awful forums and sparked the creation of many more by many different users of the forum. So much an entire sub-forum for Let's Plays had to be created. Later that year, Proton John created a Let's Play of the infamously difficult Von hack Kaiser Mario World. Move faster, Pokey! Faster! Now, on the offense. What? Death water. Death water! I'm gonna stop doing that. It's slippery and I died because I fell in the death water! Death water! Stop falling in the death water! Have I said death water enough tonight? This was one among the first Let's Plays to receive widespread success outside of something awful. It sparked an interest in the video genre to a more general YouTube viewing audience. As a result, newer Let's Plays began to show up exclusively on YouTube, largely unaware of the origins of something awful. These new Let's Players had the same goal of sharing their experiences of playing through a game with their audience, only they decided to distribute their comments exclusively through their own YouTube videos, and not through any gaming forums. The exposure to and interest in Let's Plays on YouTube continued to gradually Dude, increase over the years, point, and by the end of 2009, okay. several of the YouTube Let's Players had amassed thousands and some even tens of thousands of subscribers. The next year, however, would mark the greatest shifts of change within the Let's Play community. On March 14, 2010, Chaka Khan Moy Renowned for his expertise and informative style along with great amount of energy, began his Let's Play of Pokemon Crystal to coincide with the North American release of the remakes of his companion titles, Heart Gold and Soul Silver. This Let's Play brought a level of professionalism and touch and quality never before seen in a Let's Play. In addition to just being a narrated walkthrough of a game, Chugga Kamarade provided 
images, statistics, and information that helped enhance the viewing and informational experience, as well as included substantial information from the newer games that allowed it to serve as a comprehensive guide to both the old and new iterations of Pokemon Generation 2. By taking advantage of the immense popularity of the Pokemon franchise, Jugger Conroy is able to vastly expand both his audience and general interest in Let's Playing as a whole, as well as creating some of the most well-known moments in Let's Play history. So next time on Pokemon Crystal, we're going to be catching a Pokemon, alright? See you guys then. If I can actually catch this! What?! You have to open anyway. There is a Pokemon that I want to get in this area, so let's just look around for it for a second. Alright, maybe this is it now. Yes, this is it, and- OH MY GOD! <laughs> <laughs> this is something that is very rare. This is a shiny Pokemon. There is a 1 in 8,000... 192 chance that you will find one of these. In summer of that same year, a great calamity shook the Let's Play scene. A group of YouTubers known as Conjopi began to take advantage of YouTube's automated system of copyright infringement claims and began to target rising Let's Players who seemingly would be unable to counter the claims. On July 10th, Nintendo Capri Sun considered to be an inspiration to many Let's Players, most well known for giving his personal monologues and life stories in his Let's Plays. So that was like 2002, 2003, I mean, uh, really in 2002 and 2003 I was in more of my movie phase. I was going to the movies like literally every week and I saw all kinds of, you know, just about everything that came out I went to see it regardless of whether or not I wanted to. But pretty much after, like, 2003 and then 2004, I moved to Virginia with that lady I knew on the internet. And her boyfriend at the time was, like, kind of a big... Oh, jeez, did I just do that? Holy crap, can I make it up? Can I make it up? I'll finish the story in a second. I just have to... Uh... Crap! Ah, oh, Man, bad luck indeed. I don't want to make you watch that twice, so I will meet you back here. Alongside the now immensely popular Chugga Convoy, had their channels suspended due to the false copyright claims. The actions of these false flaggers led to a massive outrage among both Let's Players and Let's Play fans. And this is the guy, this is the guy who's what? one of the people, and his name is Let's Not what? Play, okay? Like He's very, very oh. like retarded, and I'm sorry his back quality, but He whatever. looks like a homo. I come to you today to spread a message, a message of my victory. You see, the bane of the internet, God's gift, the last how many subscribers he has. Conroy, has been removed from YouTube. That's right, removed. And you want to know why he was removed? Because of us. He means me. Because we are the greatest. He is the greatest. I am the greatest. Yes, he is. No, he's not. He's fucked up. So great that a unified effort was initiated to bring their channels back. OMG, I'm so fucking pissed. I hope you get your account back. Thanks. Oh, this is a good one. Hi, Tim. I'm sorry this is happening. When I saw that your other accounts were suspended, my heart broken too. I was crying. I needed more toilet paper. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Uh, some people said some people said that when they were they uh, saw you got suspended they cried. I've heard that in my inbox. Damn. Just plain and simple, I love less playing. I love watching other people and I love making my own. I just flat out love less playing, and it's just something that if it's threatened in any way, if any person within it is threatened, I feel threatened too. We are talking to Chuck Connery, and he is fine, and he is trying to get his stuff back. And you guys keep asking, what can we do? Remember to keep supporting him, his videos, what he does. One thing we 
could do is, you know, possibly... We could like, possibly make a trending topic on Twitter or just spread the word around. Make this aware and try to get YouTube's attention any way possible. These people are flagging videos that they are not allowed to really flag for the reason that they're flagging them. You can't just say, take that Pokemon video down because I don't personally own Pokemon. If we don't stop this, it's going to go on forever on YouTube and all the LPers will be off and no one will know how to play video games anymore. It's just sad to see things like this go down, how any random person claiming to be a company could just take down such great people from YouTube in our community and it's just it's just sad to see really. We have to find out who these people are and get these off of YouTube. They have to go to jail for this because this is illegal. Kind of weird though that they target less players though because I mean really we're probably like the least likely to piss anybody off out of all yeah. the people who make oh, shit. <laughs> I mean we're just playing games and talking about it. I mean we don't piss anybody off. Yeah. We really don't. You think that we'd be the least likely to get targeted. We know how it feels to get an account taken down. Um, it's devastating. I can't take this anymore. I don't know if I should cry, which I want to so bad, or scream my head off, which I want to so bad. I want Nintendo Capri some back. I want them back. Anyway, well, the reason I'm making a video right now is because is because somehow I got around that yesterday was like supposedly, supposedly the 14th day after I filed my counterclaim, which I don't think it is. I think today is. As far as business things, you know, I was looking at the calendar yesterday. Anyway, so I thought I'd put the camera up and just set it up so I can get my reaction when I see that my account is back. There ain't gonna be much of a reaction, as tired as I am. I can already tell you it's not up because my email's not popping up like crazy. It would be if my account was up. I know it would be. Yeah, I see it's still down. I mean, yeah, I figured. I figured as much. Tomorrow is when it's coming back. Here I was trying to get my reaction on film, you know, right? Well, well, I finished the Zelda 2 run on Screw Attack, but I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, when I come back, all I really have recorded is a bunch of Metroid Crime, like 10 parts of it. So, I don't know. I'll probably upload two or three of those the first day when I get back. You know, I appreciate so much that you guys think I'm actually that entertaining that I'm worth sitting through a commercial for. Because that's hard to believe. <laughs> Like, it really is. I mean, I, you know, here I am looking like trash, like gutter trash, saying this stuff. I have nothing. I got nothing. People are remotely logical for you here. It's just... Okay, guys, so I'm waiting for my computer to start up right now. And uh, I have to tell you about last night. Uh, after I got finished making that video, I edited it together and everything. And I had to go to work. I had, like, no time, no spare time left to look at anything. It's like 2.43, and if I leave at 2.50, I just barely make it on time. I'd like to leave at least five minutes early. Anyway. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, and last night, okay, so right before I leave for work, I go to turn the computer off, right? I drag the whatchamadoohickey over to turn off computer. Right? And, uh... I click turn off computer. After that happens, my automatic email, which is still on because I don't turn it off, I just shut down the computer and it turns off by itself. Well, anyway, after I click turn off computer, I saw two emails in a row that said so and so is subscribed to your video. And I, I don't know. I just thought, oh my gosh, I'm getting email alerts because the only email that I have popping up on here is the Nintendo Capri Sun email, and I haven't seen it say that. <laughs> in over a week, so so the fact that I saw that last night makes me think they must have brought my account back up right when I left for work last night, like two minutes before I left. And so now I'm going to go and see this morning if it's there. Oh, man. This is going to be so weird. I don't know if I can take this. Okay, well, we're about to find out here. Oh man, I don't want to push that enter key. I don't want to push it. I just build up the suspense. If I build up the suspense and it turns out I'm not there, then I just waste the time making this video because I'm not going to show it if it's not there. But I really think it must be there because of the email popping up last night right before I left for work. And now I am pressing the key. <gasps> I'm back! Yeah! It's my channel! Oh my god! Oh. Oh god. Oh man. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm here. Everything's okay. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Wee. Look at all these welcome back messages. Oh my gosh. I know, I, I, that's probably, I don't know what I want to do first. Every single Kanjapi related account has been suspended. I think they made a serious error. Let's players are just very easy targets with loyal fan bases who will attack the shit out of anyone who messes with their f fucking video person. I, I don't even really know what to call them. The aftermath of the Kanjopi scandal inspired the rise of many new Let's Plays and Let's Players, including Ninbuzz, a community-based Let's Play channel that featured content created by members of its own community, and even featured spotlights of up-and-coming Let's Players to give them both honest critiques and exposure to help them facilitate their early growth. Next up is Pikachu Chase and his Let's Play of Kirby's Return to Dreamland 3. I I'm not good with games I've never played before. Anyways, I picked this guy because he really... I can tell this guy is going to be good, but he's sort of lacking confidence, and I think this confidence boost is really going to help him out, really help him succeed. This possibly golden age of Let's Playing continued into the next year, in February of 2011, with the formation of the Runaway Guys, a collaborative Let's Play channel between prominent Let's Players, Joker Conroy, Nintendo Capri Sun, Proton John, and Josh Jepsen. The multiplayer antics of four of the most well-known and well-respected Let's Players gave the channel a tremendous running start and quickly gained tens of thousands of subscribers within days of its creation. Where are you going there, my I'm boy? I'm trying to keep up! Captain Falcon wonders if you know what you're doing. <laughs> I know what you're doing! Captain Falcon is just going to stay here for a while. He needs to stretch his calves. Why well, the you will help you get married! He knows all the perfect colors to mix together! <laughs> It'll bring out your eyes very well. Oh my god. Your hips will look fantastic. <laughs> Meanwhile, I get a commission. I, right. While Luigi running a bridal boutique is a fantastic concept. See, in our community, there's your ammo for this Oh man. While Luigi's gonna help you marry Luigi, I have you in daddy. Princess Daisy, you two will get together so good. Okay, you need to wear the green suit. No, you need a purple suit. Purple is much better than green. He's <laughs> very good, trust me on this one. <laughs> oh, with black trim. What? Yeah. Valentine's Day Falcon. For the ladies? Oh. Captain Falcon is here for you, ladies. The R Bank. The Almanac. Captain Falcon will fucking punch the soccer ball. Or you Captain miss. Falcon is really bad at hitting soccer balls. The runaway guys would soon expand itself to include many other less players. The collaborations continued into that summer with Super Mario Sunshine vs, a joint project between Josh Jepsen and Attacking Toucans, in which the two would attempt to race each other through the end of the game with preset conditions. Um, what the- Oh my god, I am underneath the level. Hey, I can see you down there! No, no you can't. <laughs> I'm in the same level you are. Um, I don't know how to react to this. I don't know how to react to this. Um, I believe, oh my god, what was the heck was the what, the what, the what? <laughs> no, no, one no, I haven't eaten no yet bananas! 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 This shit is bananas. B-Q-L-U-F-E-T. Bananas! 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 Stop it. The idea of a Let's Play race quickly grew in popularity, and many other Let's Players created their own races with their own stipulations. In 2013, a separate channel was established solely for the hosting of the versus Let's Plays. By this point in time, the concept and the series had gained great recognition and the channel quickly gained a large following. 
Collaborations like the Runaway Guys and Let's Play Versus brought Let's Playing to near public attention on YouTube and inspired many popular YouTube groups to begin their own Let's Play series. Let's Players, however, soon began to collaborate on more than just videos. In May of 2011, the Let's Player Lukagen had fallen on hard times and had nearly become homeless. To prevent this from happening, several of her Let's Player friends organized an event to help prevent this from happening. As many of you know, I am very dear friends with a certain female elf here known as Lukagen. And um, in recent months, she has come upon some hard times in her life. And through a mutual friend of ours, actually, we came up with this idea, actually it was all his idea, to uh, do a stream and collect donations to help her out. So uh, basically, you guys know that Risa, our friend Risa Lugagen, is going through some hard times right now, and we figured any ways that we could help her out, we should do that. And so uh, the 27th to the 29th of May is going to be the Lucathon stream. So basically, we're just kind of putting this together to uh, thank help out a friend Lugagen, in need. help out a friend in need, and thank her for all the effort she's put out in the entertainment over the years. And oh, yeah. Basically, this is just the six guys who are about to try to make someone's dreams come true. We're just trying to make this a fun event for everybody to enjoy and for to help somebody out. And I thought it'd be a good idea to have a collaboration of all the closest people to her. Hello everybody, this is Lukagen. First off, um, I want to apologize for not actually showing my face on this video like I was going to do. I hope you guys understand that this is an emotional thing for me, so um, I just couldn't do this without tearing up and crying and I really didn't want to do that on camera. I hope you guys understand. Um, as you all know, or most of you know, we had the Lucathon this weekend. My friends put something together to help me out of my situation and I had to make a video at least to thank everybody, although thank you doesn't seem even close to enough. Not even close, but I'm gonna give it a try. Um, we raised over $5,000, well 6000 because of my best friend, Nintendo Capri Sun, matching donations to the first $1,000, and I am just so blown away, I can't even describe to you, I'm sorry, I'm like crying right now, <laughs> I can't even describe to you what it means to me that you guys would do this for me. Um, obviously I want to thank everybody that came everybody whether you donated or not it was really appreciated I'm I just I'm blown away by you guys you guys have helped me so much not even with just the stream but subscribing to me and supporting me in my LPs supporting me as a friend I just I don't know how I could be so lucky I mean no matter what I go through in my life at this point I know that I'll be fine because I have this kind of support and love and that there's this kind of support and love in the world is just a really beautiful thing. I'm sorry, I'm getting all choked up. I hope that I can be as kind as you guys have in my life. And um, I hope I can repay back everything that everybody has done for me. Thank you so, so much, you guys. I love you all so very much. In February of 2013, a large gathering of less players would again begin a charity marathon for charity in the form of Project Arachi in order to raise money for rice bowls to fight hunger. Later that year, Lukagen herself would host a charity stream called Project Braveheart for the American Heart Association. These two events together raised almost as much money as the Lucathon. We have made $3,000! Now you get Patrick naked! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Let's Plays continued to thrive on the something off forums. However, their popularity pales in comparison to the ever expanding community of Let's Players that have found their home on YouTube. These gamers and producers have forged for themselves a vast worldwide community that has proven itself to come together and be supportive in both times of crisis and times of tranquility. 
when we got together for MAGFest the very first night, we went out to this restaurant in the nearby mall. And we were sitting there and we ordered our food. And um, <clears throat> Chugga said, raised his glass and said, I'd like to propose a toast to Conjovi, without whom this wouldn't be happening right now. <laughs> <laughs> and we just, we did the toast, man. Because it's, it's arguable that if we hadn't gotten suspended, the word wouldn't have gotten out and we wouldn't have gotten such a huge boost like we did and then we wouldn't have gotten partnered like we did. So in the end, it was probably better for us. You know, it's not about the video games because if it was, if it was about the video games, if that's really all it was about, then we would just stay at home and play, you know? But there's a reason we got together as a group and did this because it's about the community and it's about the love. And I'll tell you something, there was more love and beauty there. God, just, I just... I know I keep coming back to it again, but like I can't possibly s express how awesome that whole thing was. We got it. I do believe we do. Yes! Awesome sauce. Dun, 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 dun. Man, that one was way down there. It must be something really good, huh? Can't wait to see. Alright. Whew! Oh, damn. Here it comes. Ah! Ah! Okay, sorry. <laughs>